glasses. Hi folks, Mike Cotillo here from the Finger Lakes Times newsroom in downtown Geneva on Monday, October 17th with a couple of the stories that we're working on for you in today's paper. Assemblyman Brian Kolb is set to introduce legislation on hospital abuse, which has been pushed by a Seneca Falls man. Dave Shaw has a story on the construction of a natural gas pipeline from Milo to the Greenage Powered Plant in Dresden, which is set to begin within this week. And we also have a story on the two Democratic candidates for Seneca Falls Town Board planning a Meet the Candidates Night Thursday in Seneca Falls. In sports today, the Buffalo Bills win their fourth straight yesterday, and sports editor Pat McDonald has a column taking a look at the upcoming Section 5 football playoffs. Also in today's paper, our regular Monday farm page. And we have our chief photographer and columnist, Spencer Tullis. We'll be talking about a column that he'll be writing for tomorrow's paper. Uh, tomorrow there'll be a column focusing on Dennis Lepressi and his efforts to restore a 1941 Chevy Sheriff's car uh, for the Wayne County Museum in Lyons. Great. Thanks, Spence. That's the Finger Lakes Times, folks. Pick up a copy at a newsstand near you. Thank you.